Yo, what's up? This is gonna be a quick and rough guide to Soul Calibur 6 modding, and this is from getting started. So the only requirement so far is that you have Soul Calibur 6 installed. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is download the sound tools pack that I have in the description below. I already set up a modding folder, so you want to set that. You can do it on your desktop, wherever you have space. Um, so this is the one that I'm going to use for this video. And you want to put that right in there and extract it. And then the first thing you need to do is go to Quick BMS. Double click on Quick BMS 4 gig files. And then that's not the right file path. You want to navigate to sc6.bms. And it's it's in the same folder that this BX is in. And then you need to go to where you have Soul Calibur 6 installed. So mine's over here. Sorry, Steam Apps. Common. So Caliber, where are you? Sorry. And then so Caliber 6 and content, and you want to go to the packs folder. I'm going to delete this because you won't have this yet. You'll just have these two. So you want to select both of those and hit open. And then I'll say select the output folder where extracting the files. So for that, you probably want to go back to this file path. You're, right now, you're essentially dumping the whole game into a format that you can actually browse. Uh, so I'm actually going to make a new folder and name it dump. And we're going to go ahead and dump it in here. And so here, it's going to ask you for a key. Just hit 0 and hit enter. And depending on your computer, this could take a little while. So I'm going to skip to where this is done. All right, so once you've done that, I think we're about 30-ish minutes in, maybe a little bit less. Uh, it'll ask you for another key. Since you're unpacking two packs, it's going to ask for the same one. Um, well, it's the same key. So just hit 0 again and hit Enter. And then it'll finish up. All right, so here we are with both packs dumped. Um, it'll just say press enter, close the window to quit, hit enter. Uh, and then back here in your main modding folder that you made, uh, and then whatever folder you made to dump it, uh, you'll have access to basically all the game files all laid out. Uh, so the next thing you want to do is open the sound tools, and now you want to go to Eternity Audio Tool. Um, open Eternity, Eternity Audio Tool.exe. And first thing you want to do is hit edit associate.ecb extension. Uh, hit yes. Now we need to navigate to what audio you want to change. So go back to your dump, go to Soul Calibur 6, content. Uh, forgive me. Sound, obviously. Uh, resource. And we're going to change a narrator line, but you can do pretty much whatever you want from here. Uh, voice, I'm going to go to common and open this. And this will open it in Eternity Audio Tool. And you can preview any of these. Battle! battle. Final, Final battle. battle! Fight! Fight. And there you go. You have all the narrator lines. They're all in HCA, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, so we're going to Shangla. change. Ivy. Ivy. Here we go. Time's Time's up. Up. Great. Great. Double, Double KO. 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 All right. Sorry, I should have prepared this in advance. Anyway, we're going to change the KO line. Uh, just cause. So we're going to hit replace, and then. You just want to go to whatever audio file you want to replace it with. And this works for background music, to any voice lines, whatever. Uh, so I have the...
modding video folder. And a decisive pummeling. Gonna replace it with this random line from Darkest Dungeon. Uh, it'll ask you if it's. It doesn't matter if you import it with two channels. Just hit yes. Uh, and we don't want this one to loop. On background music, you will, but this one, no. And then once that's done, oh, it's probably a good idea to make a copy of this. Just so that you can uh, have it pure, just in case you change your mind, you don't have to dump the whole thing again. And then you want to hit save. File was saved successfully. So now we have this one, and this is our edited one, and we can tell. So we go down to, I think it was 28. Let's play 29 first. Double KO! A decisive pummeling. Might want to change audio levels, um, but this is a test, just an example. Uh, so we're going to take this file. I'm going to copy it. And then now we're going to U4Pack. And I've already started the directory for you, but you will need to finish it. So go to Soul Calibur 6, Content, Sound, Resource. And then you'll want it to be the same file structure as, as it was in your dump. So here we're going to go to... Why do I always lose this? Modding video. Dump. So Calibre 6. Content. Sound. Resource. And so you need to make a new folder. And so I'm going to call it voice. And obviously you're going to want to, this folder is going to be named whatever file path is where you're editing it. And then we need to make a new one called CMN voice. And then we're going to put this new file right in there. Then we're going to go back to U4Pack and hit repack.bat. And so that's going to make a, a file called numod.pack. You can name it whatever you want. Um, I'm just going to call it testko. And then you want to go back to where you have Soul Calibur 6 installed. So Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Soul Calibur 6, Soul Calibur 6, Content, Packs. And in here, you want to make a new folder. And I think that's called a tilde. Anyway, top left button with shift. <laughs> and you want to call it that. Just mods. And you want to put this pack right in there. And that's it. Now we're going to test it. Whoops. I'll just skip to see you in game. All right, so now we're in game. Um, and when we get a KO, not a ring out or a perfect or a great, it has to be the actual KO line, so I gotta let him hit me. There you go. And that's it. You've modded your first audio file. All right, that's gonna be it for this video. Um, join the modding discord and they'll help you out with uh, a lot more than I can do uh, there's a lot a lot of people in there that are way smarter than me um, but I just wanted to put together a getting started beginners guide because I know that a lot of people are gonna be jumping on this and have no idea where to start so hopefully this gave you a good starting point uh, that's gonna be it for this video and see you guys later